Hiya, I'm Pimmy. Um, I uh, had a couple of days off um, because they were very much off days um, and I didn't uh, have the, the smiles and energy to make a vlog. Uh, today I want to tell um, a story which was very dramatic at the time and m maybe uh, um, funny in hindsight but um, uh, I uh, it's the story about breaking a wheel and not just any wheel um, it was my grandmother's uh, walking wheel uh, the one that I already did two uh, videos about and um, uh, for if you haven't uh, seen that uh, th those uh, vlogs then um, a little bit of backstory my grandmother had a walking wheel made uh, by a local carpenter and after her death that um, wheel lived with my aunt uh, hanging on the on the wall the the, the wheel part of it um, and the rest, uh, the, the table and the uprights um, stored in the attic. And uh, looking pretty and uh, only being assembled about one time a year to be spun on, um, uh, on the flax market in Germany. And uh, I really wanted to, to learn to spin on uh, that wheel. Uh, so I taught myself how to spin long draw because it's... Um, a wheel without a uh, foot pedal, um, you have to turn the the drive wheel with one hand and you only have one hand to form your uh, uh, yarn. So uh, you have to do long draw, you don't have two hands to draft. Um, so I taught myself to, to spin long draw on um, some form of support spindle I think and uh, the spinning on it went really well and uh, my aunt was impressed uh, that I, I managed to, to spin on it and I uh, wanted to bring the wheel along to our annual guild meeting uh, spinning guild meeting and um, my kids were still very small so I, it would be easy to uh, say that my kids broke uh, the wheel, but they didn't, I did. Um, I had it standing um, in the living room because I didn't have this uh, uh, studio yet. And uh, the girls were, I think, about seven. And... A little boy was then four, something like that. And um, I ha uh, had a week, uh, the, the week before the, the guild meeting would be, I or, or two weeks, something like that. I had uh, already had the uh, walking wheel standing in the living room uh, up against the uh, cupboards, the, the, the wall of, of um, cupboards. And I would pull it a bit from the, the wall um, and set it up uh, to spin. And my kids were really very good at um, leaving it alone and not bumping into it. And it was relatively safe as long as it was standing there. And I, I loved spinning on it and I had so much fun. Just uh, cranking up the the volume of the of the music and putting on bouncy music and just uh, spinning like um, like you're dancing. And one afternoon with no kids in the room and my husband sleeping on the couch, um, I stopped spinning and I dragged the, um, uh, the the wheel I, I, I held it at the table I think or maybe at the, the front uh, leg 
and I dragged it towards the its place in front of the cupboards again and it tipped over and I, f I think there was about this much uh, room for it to fall but um, it tipped over and um, the the big drive wheel hit the cupboards first and I broke all the spokes in the drive wheel. That was really, really dramatic. Um, and I think I screamed and my husband woke up, but um, I called my my friend first because how am I ever going to fix this? How I, I don't have a workshop, a, a wood workshop. I don't have the equipment. How am I going to fix this? Um, and I didn't dare to call my aunt. Which, looking back, is stupid because she, she's the sweetest person in the world. And um, her first reaction on hearing this was, um, oh, this isn't your fault because several of the spokes had already broken. She had uh, an, ac uh, an accident, her, her cleaning lady had um, dropped the, the, the drive wheel and had broken several spokes and, and my cousin had um, uh, in a hurry um, glued the, the spokes back in again because uh, the next day she'd have to um, uh, do the demonstration on the flex market and that was the reason that uh, the drive wheel was off the wall but um, the tension on uh, on the wheel uh, with the spokes wasn't perfect anymore after that uh, so that was probably why it couldn't um, take the, the hit of, uh, of, of falling and all the spokes broke both the old uh, fractures uh, reopened again and um, lots of new ones. But my friend um, Anita, she uh, from um, uh, the, the beautiful um, pattern, the, the Jacobus um, monkey, uh, knitted monkey pattern, uh, zij maakt het. Um, she used to build harps. So I knew she would be very precise and uh, she has a wonderful mind for um, thinking up good solutions. And she has the equipment, so I called her first and we made a plan. How are we going to fix this? And um, then... I uh, got up the courage to call my aunt and her first reaction uh, was, well, this, this isn't your fault and we are going to fix this and um, get a good carpenter and I'll pay for it. But we didn't have to because I had um, uh, my friend with the, the machinery that's for... for um, making um, music instruments that is much more uh, delicate and um, precise than uh, what a carpenter usually uh, has for uh, equipment. And um, uh, we, we, we worked together and we fought up um, uh, a way to fix the um, wheel. And uh, it's in a better shape now than it was when I got it uh, from my aunt. But that was... Oh! <laughs> it was such a shock. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show the... Um, I'll show the wheel and the repairs we made on it because um, 
here at the hub. You can see it. Can you see it? Here is, is uh, a crack in the spoke, and on, on the other side, it, it's some of the spokes just um, snapped here at the um, at the connection with the hub, and uh, some cracked along the uh, along the spoke. But um, we drilled new holes and uh, put dowels in, and uh, I had the the rim. I've uh, taken the rim off and first um, repaired all the all the spokes um, sitting on the hub and, and uh, uh, measuring out um, and, and keeping it stable and then tacking the the rim back on and um, well actually it's it's better now than it was before. Um, and it turn, turns better as well. But yeah, that wasn't funny. <laughs> and um, I had it uh, all repaired in time for the guild meeting. And uh, it, it was spinning better than the first time I got it. Um, then my um, Angora bunny decided to, the, the, the day before going to the uh, guild meeting um, and showing off my brilliant wheel, um, my Angora bunny um, decided to uh, escape and uh, squeeze uh, her tiny uh, fluffy ass uh, through the gates to my neighbors who had a very rambunctious and young uh, chocolate labrador, uh, labrador um, uh, running around in the garden. Um, so I ran over there and um, tried to save my screaming uh, rabbit from the, uh, the, the big labrador who just wanted to play. Um, and I broke my, uh, my pinky or I, I don't know if I broke it, but I um, probably it wasn't broken, but uh, the tendon probably ripped. Uh, so I had to uh, body tape um, my pinky uh, to my ring finger in order to to spin my uh, my demonstration. Uh, that was quite a dramatic um, story uh, of this wheel and, and the preparation of. Uh, that year's spinning, but um, yeah, you say if you, they say if you um, uh, if you change something um, on a, on a thing you own, if you repair it or um, exchange uh, parts or improve on it, that it becomes more yours well this very much became um uh my will <laughs> with that fall uh it, it, i really put my mark on it <laughs> not in the way i wanted but uh, yeah everything worked out fine so that was the story for today and uh, hopefully i'll um uh, be able to show you something uh, next time hope to see you then bye